program. I'd have won a fortune by now. Talk to yourself, Carol. Mardy Cow. Rubbish. I'm delivering newspapers. Oh, right, all right. Helping me out, are you? No, I'm helping myself out. Oh, I see. Well, gets you out of the house, I suppose. Keeps you healthy. Eh? And I'm not doing it for me ruddy health. I need the money. Keith. Oh. Look. That business with the suit, you know. I'm sorry I shouldn't have lied to you. Yeah. Have you got many more papers to deliver? Oh, I've just finished. Right, well, then, I was just going to pop over to the Rovers for a drink. Uh, why don't you join that? Well, I don't know. Oh, Keith, please, come on. Make me halfway. Ah, go on, then. But I'm paying. Oh, oh, I wouldn't want this any other way. Last night. Oh, man, not this again. I've told you nothing happened. I just walked her home. Yeah, but why did you? Charlie had already offered. Why did you jump in? Why? Well, Charlie... Charlie what? Well, if anyone's going to take advantage, it's Charlie, isn't it? I thought you were mates. We are. Look, Frankie was hurting like mad last night. Who knows what she would have done if Charlie had taken her home? Possibly something she would have regretted. You're a proper good Samaritan, you, aren't you? Look, let's just change the subject, eh? What do you fancy doing tonight? Well, my granddad, Auntie Emily's got a Bible group. You could always tag along. Hey, I was telling Deirdre she should come out one night and watch the rock rhythm rascals play. <laughs> Absolutely. The more groupies, the better. That's what I say. Uh -oh. I keep telling her she doesn't have to come to every gig that I do. It's only jealous because fellas keep asking me to dance. <laughs> so, um, are you going to try and get back in at the Webby Arms? What, uh, what's this? Oh, it's just the guy I work for. He gave me my cards today. What? Why? Oh, it's something or nothing. To be honest, he did me a favour, really. I was growing sick at sight of vanilla slices. <laughs> Mind you, I don't know what I'm going to do next. You know, I don't think I'm going to go back to bar work. Why not? Well, I like having my evenings free, and it means I get to spend time with him, support him. <sighs> hey, you can always help me on the stall, you know. Stall? That's his sideline. He sells old LPs on market. Oh. Hey, I'd love to. Right. Oh, now, just give us a minute. Yes. You really think so? You're not just saying that? No, no, I'm not. He seems very genuine. Oh, he is? And he treats me like a lady. No, I think he's really nice. I'm pleased for you, Liz. I can't get over it. He's fantastic. I've got a fantastic fella for Christmas. It means I'll be able to buy him aftershave and wrap it up and put it under a tree. I haven't watched a fella unwrap a Christmas present for... That must be nearly ten years. Oh, lady. Oh, don't worry. I'm not getting in too deep too soon. I know I've only just met him. But he's taken me to his flat. I know he's not married. He's interested in me. In me? It's been a long time since a fella were really interested in me. Hey, if I tell you something, you won't laugh, will you? No, oh, of course not. Well, last night, I wasn't in the mood, you know, for... And you just said, it doesn't matter. And you just cuddled me and we talked for ages. And I fell asleep with my head on his chest. Usually when I'm in bed with a fella, I fall asleep looking at his back. <laughs> You've said enough. I'm sorry. <gasps> sorry? I don't care how sorry you are. I wish someone would tell me what's going on. Please, Mum, this has nothing to do with you. Oh, pardon me for taking an interest. Fella, go on. 
So long you told that little tart. Leanne, you haven't been upsetting yourself again. Upsetting himself? You want to know how he sees us? You and me? I didn't yeah. mean it. I, I didn't say it like that. It's him twisting things, causing trouble. Please, can you just give us some time together? I don't mind me. I'd rather you go upstairs, just for a bit, please. I've got something I've got to sort out. But look, whatever's happened is bound to be Danny's fault, eh? There's nothing to fall out about. I don't want to fight you, Jamie. I'm sorry, Frank. Yeah. I had to warn her, because he is going to hurt her. And I know that you hate her, but I can't just turn it off. I can't just hold my feelings. I know. Just promise me she never sets foot in my house again. I'm not pathetic, you know. And I'm not always that strong, but I'm not pathetic. I know. Don't let him win, eh? No. You're the only decent thing left in my life. So what? We're just going to sit here all night, are we? My grand's got a better social life than me. Get anyone a drink? Yeah, why not? I mean, he's not planning on whisking me anywhere special. It's been a dodgy month. I haven't had that much cash. A lager and uh, red wine, yeah? Yeah, thanks. All oh, right, so you'll accept a drink off him, but you don't like him. I like him. He's a mate. But you don't trust him around women? Not with anyone who's vulnerable. Vulnerable? There's nothing vulnerable about any of the women around here. Desperate, pathetic, yeah. Very pathetic in some cases. I mean, look at Liz. Laying traps for a new man. She's deluded. You know, and that one must be she thinks Steve's worth having. Makes you wonder what low life her husband was. Oh, and then we've got Bev, who'd wrap her legs round a man as quick as pour him a pint. What an cringing Claire. And a Wendy House life. Not vulnerable, Nathan. It's roadkill. The only thing vulnerable about Frankie is her name. Sounds like some sort of desperate stand-up comic. Name me Big Talk, eh? Let's give as good as we get. We've got as much right to be there as them. We just have to get out of the pub. He ain't running away. Yeah, well. What? Nothing. Do you think he was too soon? Do you think that we should have waited a bit? I don't know. Fancy a takeaway, bit of bolty? No, I'm not hungry, Tad. Well, I'm starving. I had a leaflet push through the door the other day. Yeah, well, they can keep the rovers. I'll have to find some nice wine bar somewhere, eh? There you go. Do you like naan bread? Yeah. Yeah, actually, go on then. Order me some nice, hot and spicy. Oh, it's not that pub was grotty anyway, and it's not like we're hiding from them, is it? We're not hiding from them, are we? Of course not. You were really bothered about feelings, weren't you? No more than you were about his. Mushroom naan, plain or garlic? I don't care. I should never let him get to me. Oh, we're a right pair, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> you got to remember, it's his fault. We can't stop blaming ourselves. Yeah, but that's your father. Oh! Oh! You all right? Oh, I slipped. Oh, I, I was halfway down. I was coming down to see how you were, and I, and I slipped. I, oh, I think it's my leg. No, oh no, it's my ankle. Don't put any weight on it. Oh, sit down. Uh, sorry. I know you two wanted to talk. It's all right. You're finished. So, what happened? What did Leanne do? It doesn't matter. Do you think it's broke? Oh, no, it's probably just strained. Typical, eh? Sober as a judge and I still take a tumble. Hey, don't worry about me. I'll be fine. So go on, tell me. What did Leanne do? Well, we was just saying that um, I've definitely decided I'm going to see Slit at her. Uh, I want a divorce, and uh, the faster the better. Yeah, it's terrific, isn't it? So this drumming been doing it long? Oh, long as I can remember. I've got natural rhythm. <laughs> Not like me. Bone deaf, me. <laughs> Steve used to play it with Carter. Really? I never. Well, he did, when you were little. 
You used to drive me at war with Friar Jacques. <laughs> no, I didn't. I bet you were really cute. <laughs> hey, leave off the lad. He'll be getting his baby photos out soon. <laughs> I bet he knows things about you you'd rather he didn't bring up. Right, well, that's an open book. <laughs> what about the time at Christmas when Andy... Ah, uh, uh, Ronnie, where'd you get your hair done? Because I'm thinking about trying somewhere different. <laughs> 36B change. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Cheers, mate. So, Charlie, do you, um, do you think the women around here are vulnerable? Tracy. Oh, this lot? <coughs> no way. The only ones vulnerable around this place are the blokes. <laughs> I'm telling you, if the women rose up, we'd not stand a chance. Yes, and I'd be leading them. Wouldn't it surprise me? Why? What's this about? Well, Nathan feels sorry for Frankie. Haven't seen a date? No. Just don't like seeing women getting hurt, that's all. Yeah. Sounds to me like you've been got, mate. <clears throat> Dad didn't walk out on your mother, did he, by any chance? That's got nothing to do with it. Of course, sir. You see, in my house, it was the other way around. It's me mum that did a runner. You don't like seeing women get hurt. I don't like seeing men get hurt. As simple as that, is it? Yeah. You two should be together. Yeah, you reckon? What do you think, Charlie? What, and leave him to chase after Frankie Baldwin? I said I'm not interested in her. Good. Because I don't share men. Although I've got no objection to being shared myself. <laughs> right. I'm finished. No, I've still got this. Nah, I don't mean me drink. I'm finished here. With you. What? You're a pretty girl, yeah, but... You are an ugly person. I've had it with you. Did he just dump me? Feeling vulnerable? 